Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I, Mark, a former scuba diving instructor, do my best to answer your scuba diving questions on the go. Uh, if you have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video, and if you use the Ask Mark hashtag in your comment, get yourself and your question featured in an up-and-coming video, but in the meantime, uh, me and the general community as well, we do answer questions down in the comment section, so you do get an answer, you don't have to wait for the video to come out, but today I'm answering a question from MJ about the Apex Thermic Dry Suits. So MJ says, hi Mark, thanks for your work and your passion, you're welcome. Uh, when will you review or give us an opinion on the new Apex Thermic Dry and Thermic Dry Advanced Dry Suits? Thanks. Sure, yeah, the, there are lots of new bits of gear that I do need to uh, try out from Apex this year, uh, including their new mask. Uh, I'll pop them a message to, um, uh, to get some samples over. Uh, but yeah, the Thermic and the Thermic Advanced are smart looking membrane dry suits. They kind of slipped in under the radar. There wasn't a huge amount of fanfare about releasing them they were just like on the website one day and you're like oh okay two two new dry suits um the main difference really seems to be in the like toughness and the breathability of the materials the regular thermic is a more breathable membrane whereas the advanced has reinforced areas for better abrasion resistance in key areas um the main things that stand out for me are yeah it's a membrane front entry dry suit and it has very nice pockets. Uh, if you followed me for any length of time, you know that I like pockets. Um, and the ones on the Thermic are very similar to the fourth element ones, which are my current favorite style. Uh, they've got Velcro openings, big, big pockets. They've got zippered um, uh, pockets on the, like, the outer flap of the pocket as well. And they're separated. But Nice, nice looking pockets on this dry suit. Um, the seals as well, the silicone seals, they use Cytec seals, which are the same ones that I use on my dry suit. Just allows you to quickly swap them over. I actually had to do that yesterday because one of my cuff seals ripped. And yeah, it's just as easy as you just have this tool and you just pop out the, uh, the cuff ring system. Um, it's the Cytec Antares, which is like an oval cuff, but when you pop out the rigid ring inside, you can swap it for a few others. Um, so you've got like waterproof Ultima and that can turn those into a, uh, a dry glove system. So you can have dry gloves. Uh, Cytec of course have their own like oval and round shaped dry gloves that go into it. I think the fourth elements uh, lips also fit into it. So very, very easy to fit dry gloves onto them, but also to swap out those uh, those cuff seals and the neck seal as well as the more flexible ring. So you don't have this rigid plastic uh, like halo around your neck. Um, so that's good for it. The socks as well are a little bit different. They have a Kevlar weave in the sole so that there's less like abrasion on the uh, on the very sole of the sock i've never seen that before i've seen more um like a, a different material on the sole of a neoprene sock before but i've never seen an actual kevlar weave to protect it from like abrasions uh, so that's quite nice and uh, like longevity otherwise yeah looks very standard um very safe traditional design for a membrane dry suit front entry so you can get in and out of it all by yourself uh quite muted colors the advanced is like black and black or very dark gray the regular thermic is it has black details but most of the body is like a a dark greeny kind of color which is perfectly fine um but it's breathable as well which is similar to my dry suit and that's nice out of the water because if the weather's rubbish and you're stuck on the uh, the outside of the boat you don't want to get out of that dry suit because as soon as you get out you're just going to get rained upon so you just stay in your dry suit and you don't get like hot and stuffy because as soon as you get into a dry suit you're basically in a 100 percent humid environment because all that sweat from your skin it's got nowhere to go so it just stays inside and you're in this very humid environment but if you have a breathable material it's just a bit more comfortable to uh, to wear when you're on the surface it's obviously not breathable underwater uh, because it can't breathe into the water but so that's a, a nice choice or yeah the advanced it's got that more 
uh, like tougher materials on like the legs and, uh, and areas where your uh, your BCD is likely to uh, to rub and um, and wear out your dry suit. So it's a bit more reinforced. So if you're diving a lot and you put your dry suit through a lot, that's what they designed the advanced version for. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll get on with the, um, my contact at Apex, see if I can get hold of um, of them, as well as the uh, the new mask there, uh, the VX2. Um, they've got a few other like new bits and bobs this year. I want to see that uh, umbilical torch as well. I want to see how powerful that is. Uh, so yeah, I'll pop them a message, see if I can get a sample and test them out for you. Yes, the um, the Thermic and the Thermic Advance, uh, as far as I could see, and I tend to look at um, and try and keep on top of most of the uh, the big diving brands, kind of snuck in under the radar. It just like appeared. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, no, they... I was expecting it to be more of like a KVR2 because when Apex Aqualung or Aqualung um, overtook Whites, they took over their um, dry suit designs and they created the Aqualung Fusion and they also made the um, uh, Apex, I think they called it the KVR Fusion or something, uh, but it was the KVR1 dry suit and it's clever design in that you have this oversized internal dry suit so you have plenty of flexibility to move around and it's so easy well it's easy to get on it's kind of like trying to force yourself into an oversized plastic bag but it's it's easy um and then you have this external suit over the top of it that keeps it all neat and tidy so you don't have all these rolls of extra material. Um, and the KVR1 had that Kevlar weave, so it was a bit more abrasion resistant. Um, it had the unusual like U-shaped zipper, which is fine. You can do it by yourself, but it's not always the easiest. It was a brass zipper as well. So trying to pull a brass zipper yourself around a corner, around your shoulders was a little bit tricky, but it could be done. And they that started to sell out and then it kind of went quiet. So everyone was expecting like an Apex KVR2, like an upgraded version, uh, but they brought out the Thermic and you're like, oh, okay. I was expecting a KVR2, but they brought out the uh, the Thermic, which is a bit more of a traditional front entry design, cross the body, uh, like plastic zipper, which is perfectly fine. That there are plenty on the market, and, um, and they're following that traditional design. Uh, so hopefully, somewhere behind the scenes, someone is working on a KVR2. Um, but yeah, it just kind of popped up on a few websites, and uh, an Apex never really did a whole song and a dance about it. Um, which I was kind of expecting when it was uh, released, but no, they just kind of slipped it in under the radar. Um, and yeah, it's, it's for sale on quite a few websites out there. Uh, but yeah, as soon as I can, I'll, I'll see if I can get my hands on one and uh, hopefully we can test it this diving season, let you know what it's like in and out of the water. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, uh, subscribe to the channel to uh, to see that, uh, as well as others. I was talking to, um, uh, to someone about getting some more product samples uh, from a few other brands as well this morning. Um, so yeah, watch this space. Uh, any other questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Use that Ask Mark hashtag, get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. Um, head over to the website, scubadivermag.com. Again, that's where we do a lot of the product reviews in, uh, in text form. Um, otherwise, yeah, like, share, subscribe, do all that good social media stuff. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving. <laughs>